Happy Thursday. Uh, welcome to day five in the life of a donor. Uh, special thanks to uh, Wendy, who was here yesterday and uh, shared her story about her donating her kidney uh, to her mom. Uh, today, good morning, Shelly. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what happened uh, after you donated uh, your kidney to Curtis. Go ahead. So in terms of Curtis's overall health, his dry feet that he suffered from and rash at the back of his scalp, it was amazing to see that after just a few short days, that was completely gone after the transplant. His other symptoms were things like water retention, joint pain, nausea, and headaches. And those were all alleviated after the transplant. Yeah, it sounds um, like my last hangover that I cured in Las Vegas. Yes, Mike, identical symptoms, that's right. Um, the unfortunate part was that after 10 years from that transplant, that kidney began to fail. And so now he is on peritoneal dialysis, which is why we're looking for a live donor, because that means providing the gift to Curtis, or if you do the pair donation program to others, to provide a healthier, higher quality of life. Yeah, those are all good points. And, and just to remind people that, uh, that this, is, uh, this is day five uh, of a six-part series. And if you go to MikeStarchak.com, uh, click on the green ribbon, uh, it'll take you to the links to, to donate. Uh, or you can find our YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can share it. You can subscribe to it. You send it off to your friends. Uh, do what you need to do so we can get Curtis a, a, a new kidney. Uh, no thanks worries. a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Bye-bye.